Today I'm going to walk you through a tutorial on how to create this piece on a natural stone. To start this mandala, I'm going to start by doing a plus symbol. This helps me line everything up since I am not using guidelines. And then I just place a dot in between those dots trying to keep it as evenly spaced as possible. For the next row, I just use a slightly larger dot and place it between the dots of the previous row. And then I'm going to do that again, but this round, the dots are a little bit bigger. So when I pull the tool around away that first time, you can see that leaves a little peak. But if I just add a little bit more paint to that dot, it makes that peak go away and gives me a nice smooth dot. Then I just decided just to fill in this space with a little small dot because I know I'm going to do a big dot next. This was a way I chose to kind of set myself up to make a section where I could then walk the dots. And on this section, I'm doing the same thing I did before where I am adding extra paint to these to make sure that they smooth out. Some of them I do two, some of them I do three. Just depends um, how much it needed. I did walk away and so my dots are dry now and I came back to walk the dots. So to do this, I am using the big end of the pink tool to do the top dot and then the small end to do the dots on the side. And as I move that tool around the side, it just gradually has less and less paint, creating this petal looking effect. And I will do this going all the way around. Take your time on this part and don't worry about how many dots I'm placing. I do try to get the same amount of dots. I do count them when I am walking the dots because it kind of just make, lets me know if I'm keeping it pretty symmetrical. But if you can fit four or five dots or eight dots going around, you just do whatever works for your piece. When it comes to tutorials like this, you know, I'm working on a natural stone. So my stone may be a little bit larger or smaller than yours. So, or you may even be working on a canvas. So you just do however many you need to do in order to fill the space and to make it look right for your piece. As always, just be kind with yourself when you are learning um, this technique or when you're practicing trying to get your dots closer together. The biggest tip I can tell you is just to slow down, take your time, and make sure you breathe as you are placing the dots. Especially the tiny ones, you have a tendency to hold your breath and that actually makes it a lot harder. Take time to focus on your breathing and you will see that it will make it easier to get those smaller dots. For this next part, I decided to go ahead and go back in into these empty spaces and add little small dots. You don't have to do this part if you don't want, but I ended up just doing a little lighter blue and then a darker purple as I went closer to that center dot. And then I thought it would be fun to make these little heart shapes um, on the end to kind of in this stone. I tried a couple different things and I just wasn't really liking anything. And then I thought, why not make these cute little hearts? So I'm doing that by just doing two little dots with a dotting tool and then taking a little pin to drag the dots out to make the shape of the hearts. Uh, this little pin is basically the same as just using a straight pin but uh, it's just this tool that I found. I'll add it to my Amazon list. Uh, it, they were out of it, so I wasn't able to add it to my Amazon list for a while, but as soon as they get it back in stock, I'll be able to add it to my Amazon list so you can find it. But it's a really great little tool. Otherwise, I was just using a pen and taping it to a wooden skewer, and that works fine too. Uh, here, I just decided to go ahead and add some top dots, just doing a lighter shade of blue. In general, I tend to go lighter with my top dots. Although right there, I decided to go a little bit darker for those blue ones. But in general, if you go lighter, it gives the piece more depth. So I tend to go light. And then this is the third layer. And yeah, there's the finished piece. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and please subscribe. Thanks guys.